My next teardown shall be the Hand Punch GT400. I guess it's biomedical or whatever the term is. It's a machine that you put your hand in and that's how you clock in and out. You can be identified by it. So instead of using a punch card, you use this. Odd idea. Very odd. How I suspect that this works is I see there's like a retro reflector hollow foil sticker on the bottom of this and I suspect there's some LED in here now since this is dark I'd imagine that would be an infrared filter yeah so that could be useful and so it might be an infrared camera in there and then it just goes off of the outline of your hand can you imagine how disgusting that would be to have to put your hand where all your other coworkers put their hand? That's just gross. That's just gross. That sticker's kind of neat. Before we tear it apart, let's plug it in. Yes, I disagree with Dave Jones, or whatever it is. That might be why it was <laughs> given to me. What's going on? There's cobwebs all over this thing. I want that LCD. I want it. I want it. Looks like this back piece hinges somehow. That might be useful. Two fifty six megabyte, wow. We'll get that out when we tear it apart. RS forty five, RS two thirty two, relay, and battery charger in case it was remote, I guess. Oh, I see, and there's Ethernet there. That's not too bad.
These will be tricky. Just come apart. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you really need two screws? I don't think so. That's what I was afraid of. This is a mirror here. Wow, okay. A net arm, so that might be a processor. Ooh, buttons. And possibly the coolest part a power tip PG32024080 HP P or er, 248 P9. Version 5.0 LCD panel. Uses 16 pins, so should be able to drive with an Arduino. All right, so the LCD is a 320 by 240 LCD, and I believe I found the data sheet for it, so I could possibly hook it up to my Arduino. Have fun little projects for that. I might order a bunch of Arduino since I'm getting into those. Now this, net arm CPU, hmm. it's a 200 megahertz CPU with, um, runs on 1.5 volts and 3.3 volts, has a 100 megahertz, megahertz bus, Four kilobytes of data cache and then eight kilobytes of instruction cache. So I guess it might be a little bit of a, mi a microcontroller. G series top board. 
This is of course the keyboard. These little pieces. I might not keep this board. I'll put it in the bin of things. Well, well, this board isn't really good to hang up like a motherboard is. So I'll put this in the, the, the scrap bin for me to pull surface mount components from. Three twenty by two forty backlit display, not bad. That'll be useful for something. Now this is odd. It appears we have a raw image sensor with eight infrared LEDs around it. That is odd. Just a little camera module, probably from a cell phone. I believe this dates to around 2005 or so. And then we have this, which connects to this, like so. Power board. Oh, a relay. That'd be good for something. That might be for the battery and USB. All right, I forgot the back of this one. Quite a simple unit. CR2032 that it might actually still be good, so I can definitely use that. And then I wonder what is in here. I imagine it's probably just information specific to this machine, but I wonder, do they store the data for each person's hand as just like a bitmap or a JPEG? Wouldn't that be funny? Well, that definitely makes it easier to clean up some space. I'll keep that and that. Oh. Not that. What is that? Oh, it's a little black, a little backlight. I imagine that. Oh, that's the light for this. Well, that's cool. So let's check out the, the SD card. Let's also take this inside and see what that does. So much shit. Yes. So unfortunately, that SD card does not have a PC compatible file system. But the LED does work. Although I can't figure out how to do anything but green. Annoying. At first I thought I could just power the other the other lines as if they were um, red and blue, but I can't. So they might be some weird PWM that I'm not quite sure on. But I tried powering every single combination with three volts and it did not work. The only one that worked was this, which is odd. Just have to play with it more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya. Oops. Well, I did get the blue working. I think there might be a, an issue with the solder. So I might just desolder that and redo it. The red won't work for anything though.